Hello students, you are welcome to this session. In this video, we are looking at a question on time value of money. So I read, UPS Students Association deposits an amount of $5,000 into a project fund that pays 10% interest for two years compounded annually, semi-annually, quarterly, and daily. Find the future values for these compounding periods. We realize that in our previous video, we started with the concept of time value of money. We explained what time value of money is. We explained the factors that are not pin or that are pivotal to time value of money. And we discussed the issue about how time value of money calculation is done. And we defined the formula, the general formula that is fundamental to any time value of money questions, okay, or situations. And we defined that for the time value of money formula, our future value should be equal to the present value into bracket multiplied by the future value factor all right which is what one plus the interest divided by the compounding period and half all to the power of compounding period multiplied by the time horizon in this case so this is the, the basic or the most fundamental formula when it comes to time value of money but in other areas in relation to time value of money the formula changes slightly so now i need to get it right so this is just the fundamental formula in this case so let me have my solution here. So you realize that in this question, our present value or the principal sum is what 5,000, okay. The time horizon for the investment is for two years and then the interest payment is for 10%. And then the compounding period has begun at what annually, semi-annually, quarterly, and daily. So we are going to compute the future values with respect to these compounding periods in line with the interest the principal and then the time rising in this case so let's see so this is what i'm going to do let's first of all work the feature value for the compounding period annually so future value so the feature value is going to be so my present value is what five thousand dollars okay into bracket one plus my interest is for ten percent okay it's ten percent so let me write it all ten percent divide by i know my companion period because it's annually so one divide by one then all to the power of i know my companion period period is one then i know my time is also what one is that okay so that's my time factor is also what so your time is for two two years so two all right so in this case i can say that feature value for annually i had to be six thousand and fifty watt dollars and alive so that is annually okay so that is annually so now let's look for, for the semi-annual so we follow the same word formula but then the, remember the company is going to change okay so for semi-annually 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 my feature value my feature value is going to be my five thousand dollars that's my present value okay into bracket one plus my interest is what ten percent divided by so in this case how many how many periods do you have semi-annual how many semi annual do you have in a year is what mean that semi means what half a year so we have what two number or two periods within what if it's semi annual you have two periods within what a year so you're going to put two to bracket to bracket close and i know my component period is two which is two as semi annually then multiply by my time which is what two is that okay so just use calculator and just key your answer and let's let's key the i mean the formula with the values substituted so it's going to what so in my case i had six thousand and seventy seven point five three i converted to two decimal place so dollars so there's my feature value for semi annually semi so semi annually means what the company is going to go two company going to go two because we have two halves in a year so going to go two 
and multiply by the time used for two years. You are done. So that's semi. So let's go for quarterly. So for quarterly two, quarterly. Let's see. So for quarterly two, I know my future value is going to be same thing five thousand dollars into bracket one plus i know my interest for 10 percent how many quarters do you have in a year you have what four quarters okay within what a year quarter means for three months three months right so we have what four quarters with so that becomes my compounding period is what four quarters that's n that compounding period is what four and then for me to get the total time horizon for the investment is going to be the n multiplied by the time horizon for the investment okay that's going to give me what eight so in this case with your calculator let's keep this and let's see what you're going to get so on my side i had six thousand and ninety two point zero one dollars for quarterly right so let's go for daily daily so we daily to follow the same formula feature value is going to be five thousand dollars okay into bracket one plus ten percent how many daily do you have in a year so in this case we are going to ourselves for three six five three so the end becomes what three six five okay then I have my three six five as a power multiplied by the time you saw it two in this case so it's going to be so with your calculator you should be able to get something around six thousand one hundred and six point eight five dollars so that becomes the future value for annually semi-annually quarterly and then daily so as you can see from the calculation you can clearly see that when it comes to time value of money it is not only the interest and then the time horizon that determines how well an investment is always maximized but then how well the investment is being compounded also determine the value of your present value if it's undertaken in an investment will determine the value that you're going to have in the future so the compounding period also play a major role when it comes to the value of money that you have it now as against tomorrow you're going to receive it if it's been undertaken or it's been invented in, a, in an investment so meaning that the compounding period is important factor when it comes to time value of money in relation to investment so let's take so it's not only dependent on the interest alone and then time horizon for the period but then the compounding periods will also play much so you realize that the higher the compounding periods okay the higher the future value of that investment but the lower the compounding periods the lower the invest so you can see here that we realize that with annual we have what six thousand and what fifty with semi annual we have what six thousand and seventy seven point five three quarter we have what six thousand ninety two point zero one then daily we had what six thousand one hundred so if let's say we are given an opportunity to select these feature values as an investment, which of them will you go for? All things being equal, any investor who is profit minded will go for what feature value compounded what daily, and that's going to be his or her choice. So you realize that at any time we compounded with the compounding period being higher or being increased. The future value is also what maximize so in this case we we'll go for what compound what daily and not semi annually quarterly or annually so in the, so let's take note of that let's take note of that so as you have already discussed you can also make substitution by applying your change of subject to also to work out for the future the present value the compounding period the interest and time if you are told to solve any parameters within this formula it's a matter of for change of subject and you are good to go so let's take note of that so that is all for this video so i will see you bye bye